Images released by Ukrainian military officials reportedly shows the moment Ukrainian forces located and destroyed a Russian self-propelled artillery unit hiding among some trees. The footage, which appears to have been sped up, begins with an explosion occurring in what appears to be a small village, with the camera then apparently searching for a target. It soon identifies an enemy vehicle, which has been described as a self-propelled artillery unit. With artillery shells landing near it, Ukrainian forces then appear to open fire. Eventually, one of them appears to score a direct hit, blowing the enemy unit to smithereens. It is unclear where exactly in Ukraine the images were filmed, but the footage was obtained Wednesday from the 40th Separate Artillery Brigade, officially the 40th Separate Artillery Brigade named after Grand Duke Vitautas and the Strategic Communication Department of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The 40th Separate Artillery Brigade is usually based in Pervomaisk, a city in the Mykolaiv Oblast region of southern Ukraine. The Strategic Communications Department, Stratcom said the footage shows the 40th Separate Artillery Brigade named after the Grand Duke destroying the occupiers, self-propelled artillery. Self-propelled artillery units are typically mobile military vehicles that look like tanks but have much longer guns. They often have caterpillar tracks but usually take part in long-range bombardment support operations when on the battlefield. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24 in what the Kremlin calls a special military operation. Wednesday marks the 119th day of the invasion. The Ukrainian military said it has launched ace strikes on Zemini Island, which is also known as Snake Island, causing significant losses to Russia's force there in an operation it says is ongoing. Russia conducted an anti-ship missile exercise this week in the Baltic Sea amid escalating tensions with NATO member Lithuania after the latter country blocked the transit of goods to the Russian exclave of Kaliningrad. Russian Foreign Ministry Press Secretary Mayra Zorova said that Moscow's response to Lithuania banning the transit of goods sanctioned by European Union to Kaliningrad will not only be diplomatic but also practical.